Naam mtazamaji ndio sisi hawa tena tunakukaribisha tena e, katika kipindi chako Maritia Sports Sugu hapa kumbuka kwamba tunaangazia makila tukio ambalo linajiri e, katika ulimwengu wa michezo wa wanadada haswa manake hapa tunawapa tuna, tuna wanadada kipaumbele katika sporti. Na vile vile kumbuka kwamba wiki ambayo tumekuwa amba, am, ana, ambayo tupo sasa hivi tumeshuhudia mambo mengi tu ambayo yametendeka tumeadhimisha siku ya Kiswahili em si, sherehe za saba, saba zimekuwa zikiendelea kule e, wasta tumeshuhudia wanaharakati wakieneza injili ya Kiswahili na vile vile e, tumeshuhudia kwamba Kiswahili kime, kimefanywa lugha rasmi e, kule Uganda na hapa na hapa sport sugu e, tuna kienzi Kiswahili kwa hiyo nakukaribisha tena e, kila siku niti ya Kadeli Aita almaarufu baba la baba mkali wa dimba andamana nami katika mitandao ya kijamii nipatia Kadeli Aita ukurasa wangu wa Facebook na vile vile ukurasa wangu wa Instagram ama Instagram ya Kadeli underscore l underscore masai vile vile Twitter ya Kadeli Aita e, tuko hapa na Kiarie Kiarie uko salama Asante sana ndugu naona umengara sana na mwezi mwingine ni wiki ya pili mwezi unasonga ndio siku zinasonga siku zinajumuika majuma Na mm-hmm. leo tunasema ni 30 days mm-hmm. to uchaguzi mm-hmm. general election mm-hmm. ikiwa lele ni tarehe 9 mwezi wa 7 uh-huh. na tunaomba amani mm-hmm. na katika sports sugu tunasema it's a dedicated uh-huh. women only sports uh-huh. channel uh-huh. na tunasema peace and sports uh-huh. brings peace to the world uh-huh. kwa majina ni Kiari Mwangi social media channel zangu ni Kiari Mwangi at Facebook, at Twitter and an Instagram nipate hapo uh-huh. GBS social media channels uh-huh. tupate katika Facebook, Twitter, Instagram uh-huh. at GBS TV Africa SMS Na vile vile arafa watume kwa 2144 e, tutazungumza tutazungumza zaidi e, unaweza mm-hmm. tutumia msemo wako manake leo tunaadhimisha tuna, ni wiki ambayo tunaadhimisha siku ya Kiswahili na tunaenzi sana lugha ya Kiswahili lugha ya taifa na mm-hmm. tutazidi kueneza injili ya Kiswahili E, mjomba Kiswahili wakizungumza Kiswahili na kifahamu kidogo Ehe. na kizungumza hapa na, pale na. Tuanzie wapi leo? E, leo tuanzie katika mpira e, wa, wa handball, mm-hmm. e, mpira wa mikono, mm-hmm. e, ni mpira ambao tumeshuhudia Malkia Mm-hmm. wale wanamalikia Nairobi Water Queens mm-hmm. wamekuwa wakifanya vizuri katika mm-hmm. michezo ambayo zimekuwa zikiendelea mm-hmm. na hawa wana handball mali ni kikosi eh, kikosi hicho kinazidi kutawala eh, mchezo huu hapa nchini bila kuweka katika kaburi la sahau kipute cha Afrika Mashariki ambao mm-hmm. wamekuwa pia wakifanya vizuri mm-hmm. eh, wa, nani wanaongoza kwa sasa manake oh. kuna ratiba ambayo tumeipata Tumeona waters wanaongoza wanaongoza na asanti mm-hmm. sana kwa last weekend kwa na mimi nyao study mm-hmm. kushuhudia mm-hmm. kweli Kenya Handball Federation mm-hmm. akongole kwa kazi mzuri anafanya nzuri sana namba moja ni Nairobi Water vile umesema Na Nairobi Waters wanaongozwa kwa karibu na ulinzi ulinzi wanafuatwa kwa karibu na NCPB National mm-hmm. Cereal Pro- Produce Board uh-huh. kitambo enzi za kitambo hondo ilikuwa jogo ondo kwa kiwika ondo walikuwa maguji ondo walikuwa wanatambulika ondo kwa kitumbulika kwa kitawala mm-hmm. namba 4 kumalizia hapo wanajiita amazon amazon Ama, ehe. Ehe. amazon amazon ndo hao nspb umetaja kwamba walikuwa wakifanya vizuri mm-hmm. na vile vile kuna mechi ambazo zitakuwa zikienda zitakuwa zikichezwa e, tutakuwa tunawapa ratiba hiyo e, kwa hiyo career handball imekuwa mchezo ambao e, haujakuwa kiangaziwa sana lakini ni mchezo umeshika kazi kasi samahani mm-hmm. e, manake wanadada zetu wanazidi kufanya vizuri pale mm-hmm. na jukumu letu kama na sport sugu mm-hmm. ni kulitupia jicho kila nyanja e, ya sporti kumulika wana dada zetu mm-hmm. na Nairobi Water Square Water Queens na natumai kwamba watazidi eh, kufanya vizuri eh, humu nchini eh, katika michezo ya handball na vile vile East Africa kwa ujumla Afrika na vile vile ugaibuni mm-hmm. ama dunia dunia ya kimataifa eh, kwa, kwa handball kabla twende tunamshukuru coach mm-hmm. wa National Women Handball mm-hmm. anaitwa Victor Sielo uh-huh, mzee rafiki yangu mzee pia alikuwa mchezaji nyakati zake mm-hmm. Na vile umesema mm. kama hapa sport sugu mm-hmm. tazidi kumulika, tazidi mm-hmm. muongelea naam naam e, mjomba tutoke hapo e, twende kwa volleyball volleyball eh volleyball mm-hmm. eh, na ni tena na e, malkia striker set mm-hmm. yule tume tumemzoea mm-hmm. anaitwa wa, wa show mm-hmm. wa show ameweza kustaafu mm-hmm. e, kucheza mpira wa wavu tena mm-hmm. e, tuna tunamkumbuka wa show kama E, kama gwiji ametuletea fahari amefanya vizuri washo e, katika miaka 16 amekuwa akichezea aki malikia strikers 
ameletea fahari ameshinda ameshinda eh, mataji manne na Malikia Strikers wameletea Kenya fahari seta tutamkumbuka tuta, 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 tuta alizaliwa mwaka wa 1985 mm. eh, eh, machi 24 mm. eh, na labda tu tukimwangazia amecheza mwaka 2005 msimu wa mwaka 2005 na mwaka 2006 amechezea klabu ya Kenya Pipeline. Mm-hmm. Amechezea Pipeline el, mwaka elfu, el, mwaka wa 2007 na saba, mm-hmm. mpaka mwaka mpaka wa mwaka wa 2013 mm-hmm. amechezea Kenya Prisons mm-hmm. eh, mwaka wa 2014 mpaka 2015 amechezea VBC Champions kitu kama hicho 2016 2017 akarejea kule Kenya Prisons amekuwa akifanya vizuri uh, 2018 amestafia kule Anza Royal a timu ya ushelisheli si Chelsea kule mm-hmm. na sasa hivi e, yupo ushelisheli ni kocha wa Young Ones Football mm-hmm. na vile vile amnasema kwamba e, jukumu lake ama lengo lake haswa kuu e, ni ku e, ni kushiriki e, kozi e, za makocha mm-hmm. e, ya level 2 level 2 e, e, naam hilo ndio lengo lake kwetu kama sports kama mm-hmm. kawaida mm-hmm. tunamshukuru na tunamuenzi mm-hmm na zaidi pia tunapatia uh, challenge naam. ama tu, wale wengine sasa waje wamfuate nyuma mm-hmm. manake tunasema wewe mm-hmm. umeongoza mm-hmm. pia tunataka wengine pia wajitokeze nafasi kuna wale kuna wale wadogo wadogo amewachia nafasi mm-hmm. sasa hivi wa, wa show mm-hmm. eh, tutakuwa tunamuona zaidi katika ukocha mm-hmm. na kile anakifanya mambo mengi tu eh, mjomba mm-hmm. tutoke hapo katika volleyball mm-hmm. eh, tuelekee katika wafcon tumezungumzia wafco na wiki jana tumezungumzia yeah. wafco kwa undani historia tumeitaja mm-hmm. e, kwa sasa mambo yamekuwa pale wafco e, Burundi na Uganda haja kwa kifanya vizuri kama tulivyotarajia manake wa Burundi mm-hmm. na Uganda kumbuka mm-hmm. wiki jana naam au ndio tulisema hapa hapa East Africa hapa mm-hmm. mashariki hapa hivi ndio uh-huh. wetu ndio tunaoenzi uh-huh. na nikasema mimi timu yangu ilikuwa Uganda uliona na Jesse mm-hmm. nilikuwa nimetarajia leo utavaa jezi ya Burundi atujui E, kichapo tumechapwa chapwa mm-hmm. lakini saa ndo hali e, tunatumai wata watangangana mm-hmm. labda watupe mmoja atupe ushindi tutashukuru hatujui lakini mm-hmm. kwa sasa na kusema kweli maana mm-hmm. tulisema pia mm-hmm. kushiriki tu mm-hmm. wewe ni mshindi wewe kushiriki wewe ni mshindi wewe ni mshindi e, tukizungumzia kabla tuendelee timu ya Burundi mm-hmm. watacheza ke, watacheza kesho na Nigeria mm-hmm. mechi ngumu kwa hiyo Burundi ni timu ambayo huenda ikashushwa na huenda ikabanduliwa katika mashindano hayo. Mm-hmm. E, tukitoka hapo kwa Burundi na Uganda mm-hmm. e, kuna mchezaji e, Asisato Oshoala Oshoala wa Nigeria. Am, naam ambaye tulikuwa tunapania angefanya vizuri katika mashindano hayo. Naam. Lakini amekumbana na injured. Amepata injury. Amepata injury. Mm-hmm. Na, na, me, <laughs> na juzi alienda Uspania, alirudi Uspania. <laughs> naam siku ya Alhamisi. Matibabu. Naam. Na tunazidi kumuombea manake mm-hmm. alikuwa m- alikuwa tumtarajia naam tulikuwa tunatarajia afanye vizuri Afanyvima, lakini mechi eh, mechi yao kati kati ya mechi yao na Afrika Kusini banyana banyana mm-hmm. aliambulia eh, injury kwa hiyo assist autoshawala kila laheri kila laheri na augue na twende kwa scooper queens tukimalizia awamu ya kwanza eh, babra gamba babra gamba babra mm-hmm. babra kusimu kweli mm-hmm. ameleta mm-hmm. mshtuko naam manake pia mm-hmm. hali yake imesemekana mm-hmm. wa, mara medical mara hacheze mara mara, mm-hmm. mara sijui mm-hmm. anaungwa uume na, ndani yake yake vya testosterone testosterone sijui mm-hmm. mara ni mwanamke mm-hmm. inje lakini ndani mwanaume mm-hmm. na, mm-hmm. na kwa kweli hapa sports ugo pia tunasema mm-hmm. hi-fi manake hi-fi hi-fi hi manake babra gamba anapiga shuti kali mm-hmm. anaambiwa kwamba <laughs> Eh anaambia kwanza hiyo uh, shoot si la mwanamke. Hiyo shoot si la mwanamke. <laughs> la nini? Mm-hmm. Na, na nafikiri manake pia mm-hmm. kabla tupige tama la maji. Naam. Tutazungumzia kwa kina. Naam. Habari ya hiyo tunasema hiyo mm-hmm. sexual violence. Manake baada ya leo, baada ya leo. Mm-hmm. Tukumbushe wa kijinsia katika sporti Tukumbushe eh, sexual violence. Mm-hmm. Eh, Tutakuwa tunaangazia zaidi lazima kuwe na usawa mm-hmm. wa asili na utu wa mwanamke. Na vile vile ni sawa la kuwe na haki za kimsingi za binadamu na kutunaangazia zaidi e, ukatili wa kijinsia na haswa wanadada tutazungumza zaidi katika awamu ya pili lakini kwanza tutapumua kidogo alafu e, tunarejea
Everywhere GBS. Naam karibu tena mtazamaji ndio awamu ya pili tunaingia kwa sasa e, kumbuka kuzungumza nasi katika mitandao zote za kijamii ya GBS TV Africa na vile vile ya Kadeli ukurasa wangu wa Facebook tutazungumza mengi zaidi kuhusiana na sporti katika awamu hii tutazungumzia za, zaidi kuhusiana na ukatili wa kijinsia e, katika sporti ama kwa kimombo anasema kwamba sexual violence e, tunayo mgeni atakuwa anatuambia zaidi geni ni utaratibu ama ni mambo vipi ambayo yanahusika kule ama sexual violence na usunini haswa atuambie mambo na usagaji ku, e, katika timu zetu za wanadada na vile vile sexual harassment kwa ujumla kwa hiyo tutakuwa tunazungumza naye zaidi ni mkaribishe e, karibu asante uh, mm -hmm. uh, thank you once again viewers the sports sugu is a dedicated women only sports channel and we are saying we touch on issues focusing on women uh -huh. this is the 11th episode we are grateful for your viewing na tuko na best yetu hapa we can tell you tuambie jina yako tuambie tu jina tu naitwa wangu kanja founder and executive director wa wangu kanja foundation ambaye inashughulika na kusaidia waadhiri wa ubakaji Mm -hmm. uh, wawe wanawake wanaume kwa watoto mm -hmm. yeah. so wow. tell us so for the viewer mm -hmm. who is wangu kanja and where did wangu kanja come from so that we get to where we are today uh, okay tell, so tell uh, i went through rape in 2002 mm -hmm. and experience um, from family friends mm -hmm. the community mm -hmm. uh, created an environment ambayo ingekuwa na changamoto mingi sana mm -hmm. after my ordeal mm -hmm. so because of that then i set up wangu kanja foundation mm -hmm. to support survivors mm -hmm. who might be going more or less mm -hmm. uh, the same mm -hmm. uh, challenges mm -hmm. as i was going then okay. i was going through then mm -hmm. uh, because most of the time we revictimize mm -hmm survivors mm -hmm. or someone who has gone through sexual violence mm -hmm. by asking them how are they dressed where were they mm -hmm. why were they walking at night and mm -hmm. the constitution provides that everyone mm -hmm. is free to walk at any time dress how they want because that's the way they express themselves mm -hmm. and then also it provides for safety and security mm -hmm. of Kenyan citizens Mm -hmm. So what are the causes? Mm -hmm. uh, there, there, there are three main causes okay. of um, any form of mm -hmm. uh, gender-based violence because mm -hmm. sexual violence is a form of uh, gender-based violence. Mm -hmm. So one is lack uh, lack of respect for human rights, mm -hmm. uh, gender inequality, mm -hmm. and the other one is impunity, mm -hmm. just people feeling they are mm -hmm. entitled or they have power over other people. Mm -hmm. And um, we can't we can't keep on saying um, that uh, people are violated because they were dressed in a certain way or they were somewhere at a certain time because then those are not uh, reasons to to use to justify or to not to hold someone accountable because at, at the end of the day if you do not respect human rights it means I can violate you or I can violate a child mm -hmm. just be because mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's the right thing to do for me as an individual. Mm -hmm. Other that's those are the main three mm -hmm. causes mm -hmm. but then we have contributing factors. Yeah. And the reason why I'm saying contributing factor is mm -hmm. that person makes that person vulnerable too. Mm -hmm. uh, so there is the use of alcohol and drugs and substance abuse. Mm -hmm. Um, there is also people using religion culture mm -hmm. tradition mm -hmm. to violate other people mm -hmm. so those are contributing factors that, but the three main causes are those mm -hmm. and we need to protect um, everyone mm -hmm. from any form of sexual violence mm -hmm. yeah. 
Kanja, back to Kanja, you have mentioned about uh, Kanja Foundation, mm-hmm. uh, about sexual uh, harassment or uh, sexual violence. Uh, which uh, field do you deal with? As in, nikitengo kipi ambacho unahusika nacho sana ni chasputi, ama as a uh, kijami, nikitengo kipi, uh, nikitengo kipi, as in which field? Okay, mm-hmm. so, tuna, mm-hmm. tuna hudumia mm-hmm. kila mtu. Either mm-hmm. mtu akwe kwa sporti, uh-huh. akwe kwa community, mm-hmm. akwe kwa mm-hmm. learning institution, mm-hmm. akwe na work for a, a corporate or a uh, private company uh-huh. we we offer uh-huh. sa- our services uh-huh. to everyone uh-huh. with a focus on sexual violence because uh-huh. at the end of the day uh-huh. i went through rape uh-huh. and the challenges that i went through informed uh-huh. the setup of wangu kanja foundation uh-huh. and then also uh-huh. under wangu kanja foundation we convene uh-huh. the survivors of sexual violence in kenya network uh-huh. who are men and women uh-huh. who have gone through rape because uh-huh. not only women get raped uh-huh. but then also men and boys get uh-huh. raped uh, now i Bango. think uh, i think uh-huh. Uh-huh. just to paraphrase what he's trying to get uh-huh. us it is you have mentioned gender based violence uh-huh. and you have mentioned sexual violence uh-huh. just for the viewer uh-huh. because are they two different things are they one thing uh-huh. does one over so uh-huh. gender based violence uh-huh. includes all forms uh-huh. of violence okay. meted on a man or woman or child uh-huh. but then okay. sexual violence uh-huh. is specific uh-huh. yeah. where people use uh, uh-huh. they they use um, sexuality, mm-hmm. um, sexual acts mm-hmm. to violate someone else mm-hmm. without their consent. Because mm-hmm. when we are talking about sexual violence, mm-hmm. the person has to give consent. Mm-hmm. The bottom line is a person has to give consent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if, and I will say it candidly like this, mm-hmm. if you, you and your girlfriend mm-hmm. get to bed mm-hmm. and both of you are naked mm-hmm. and one of you says, no, stop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have to stop because uh-huh. that person has withdrawn their consent. Oh, okay. So uh-huh. if you continue, then uh-huh. you're committing a crime. Uh-huh. When you're taking advantage of a person who's drunk because uh-huh. they cannot give uh-huh. consent uh-huh. because they are under influence, uh-huh. then you're committing a crime. Uh-huh. Okay. Any person who's below 18 uh-huh. cannot uh-huh. consent uh-huh. on sex uh-huh. or sexual relationships because uh-huh. okay. it's a child. Uh-huh. The person is a child mm-hmm. and they are protected by the law mm-hmm. and the law mm-hmm. has given that provision. Mm-hmm. No, no minor, mm-hmm. meaning anyone who's below 18, mm-hmm. can consent. Ata ukikuja useme sijue likuwa mekaaje, anaka nika mtu mzima, alikuwa meshato wa matiti, na haga. Bottom line. <laughs> <laughs> Ajafikisha 18, so no. you're committing a crime. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, se, umesema kwamba sexual harassment, uh, ukataja rape. Uh, ni rape. Sexual violence. Oh, sexual violence. Because sexual uh-huh. violence, uh-huh. one of the many forms of sexual violence ni sexual harassment. Uh-huh. Okay. So under sexual violence, uh-huh. kuna rape, uh-huh. yeah. kuna defilement, uh-huh. kuna... And then when we are talking about defilement, uh-huh. is any uh, violation... Uh-huh. Um, done on a minor, anyone who's below 18, okay. whether you are boy or child, to just say defilement. Uh-huh. For r- nini, uh-huh. uh, rape, uh-huh. ni any uh, crime committed uh-huh. on a person who's above 18, who's okay. a mature and adult. Okay. And then there is also sexual um, assault. Uh-huh. Um, there is also uh, u- using se- sex, uh-huh. um, let's say, you are trafficking someone from Nairobi to Mombasa to go and perform either mm-hmm. prostitution mm-hmm. because they are under you. Mm-hmm. So that's sexual exploitation. Mm-hmm. That falls under sexual violence. Mm-hmm. So we have, I think, 12 or 15 categories of sexual violence. Mm-hmm. And all of them articulated very well mm-hmm. under the Sexual Offenses Act. Manaki, pia kiarie kabla tuendele, nimewai kusikia, ama nimeambio na mtu tu fulani, kwamba hata ukipiga binja upigia mwanamke binja ama umuguze tu mm-hmm. ni sexual violence ni a form of gender based violence it is uh-huh. it's, a, it's form, a form it is a form it's a form of gender based violence uh-huh. and this is the reason why uh-huh. you why can't you call that person by their name uh-huh. okay see you're talking about cat calling uh-huh. 
call that person by their name mm-hmm. or approach them and excuse yourself and mm-hmm. tell them what you want to tell them. Okay. Not harassing someone. Juu ati wamepita, wameva vizuri, unaanza kupika bingi. You are actually infringing <laughs> on that person's yeah. space because yeah. you're making either them uncomfortable mm. or because of that, mm. then it triggers other things because uh-huh. you don't know uh-huh. uh, mtu amel, um, what life yake amelewaje mm-hmm. zile vitu amepitia uh-huh. so you are addressing that person as a whole okay uh, and mm-hmm. because of that mm-hmm. then you find mm-hmm. okay this is with a specific focus on men mm-hmm. um, utapata kwa mi, nini mita zingine utapiga binja mm-hmm. ukikataa kumrudishia mm-hmm. uh, kusalimi kama whatever mm-hmm. he is uh-huh. asking you to do uh-huh. then that person uh-huh. feels that eh uh, mtu ameni amedharau edha ameni dharau ama um this is the right word for it where you rejection okay. that person has rejected you mm-hmm. and because even you you are brought up from a different family mm-hmm. it might be dysfunctional mm-hmm. rejection is something that you don't work well with it mm-hmm. okay. so unaanza kupangia huyu mtu juu amekata kukusalimia unaanza kumpangia either vijana wenzako wakuje mm-hmm. wampige ama mm-hmm. siku moja mumu invite for drinks mu have drinks mm-hmm. then you take advantage of him or her mm-hmm. in their drunken state mm-hmm. all that is a crime mm-hmm. and that's what we are trying to edu kid mm-hmm. men women and children mm-hmm. and the youth uh-huh. because they are parameters mm-hmm. kila uta utashikwa mm-hmm. utapelekwa kotini mm-hmm. and investigations will be done and a, um a nini a, a, a case mm-hmm. uh, is initiated mm-hmm. to hold you accountable for your action because mm-hmm. one rejection is not a platform for you to violate someone else. Uh-huh. Ata naweza kwa na kusaidia, unaweza kwa unataka ku insist na huyo mtu na maybe ni mchawi. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sasa wangu. Uh-huh. Manake this is a sports channel eh. Uh-huh. Tumekuwa na two instances. Just to very broad. Most recently, juzi tu, there's a lady from Zambia. Uh-huh. She's participating katika hii inaitwa uh, Africa Women Cup of Nations. Ni wametoka Zambia. Mm-hmm. She's, a, she's a woman, she's a mm-hmm. woman. Yeah. Lakini alipofika kule Morocco mm-hmm. participating, mm-hmm. sijui even ni vilali gonga mpira, mm-hmm. they insisted that her her testosterone, her, 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 her hormones, mm-hmm. they are more male than female. Mm-hmm. Like, no, but that, then mm-hmm. the bottom line is mm-hmm. does that person have their biological mm-hmm. uh, functions mm-hmm. are they male or female? Because that's the bottom line. Yes. Mm-hmm. Whether you have 102% mm-hmm. uh, testosterone test- test- or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bottom line is biologically mm-hmm. who are you? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's one. Number two, mm-hmm. there is a case there was a case in Cameroon Clara, in, in Tanzania. Mm-hmm. Clara Luvanga. Mm-hmm. Clara Luvanga. Mm-hmm. Clara Luvanga mm-hmm. she looks like, like a man. man. Yani looks ile unaona mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. mm-hmm. kama ni misuli anazo. Hata tu chali. Sasa in But Cameroon, why, why are you why, why are you mm-hmm. blaming someone mm-hmm. because of their biological and the way the person was born okay. see okay. alienda uh-huh. a cassette uh-huh. kwa machine akasema ti i want to have uh-huh. i want to be masculine uh-huh. i want to be uh-huh. we have even men who have hips who have a nose who, who have boobs they talk uh-huh. differently uh-huh. then why are we condemning women manake uh-huh. alikuwa amefanana sana na mwanaume ikabidi mpaka wakachukua ile hatua ya kumkagua eh, yes. sehemu zake za siri uh-huh. eh, ku kuhakisha kwamba ni mwanamke. Mm. So hapo yeah, metaja then, yeah. is it hapo metaja about forms of you know because that's what we are getting to. Mm-hmm. Was that a form of sexual violation? violation. Because no you're discriminating that person because of their <laughs> their their body mm-hmm. uh, construction mm-hmm. or their body image. Mm-hmm. But that's a okay so one mm-hmm. it's a form of discrimination. Okay. Two mm-hmm. it's a form of sexual violence because mm-hmm. then you're putting this person under duress to confirm yeah. that they actually are female mm-hmm. or male okay because okay. that's wrong it's wrong yeah uh-huh. it's discrimination on on its on its mm-hmm. own level and mm-hmm. two mm-hmm. okay nika kusema when people say that mm-hmm. people should wear decently mm-hmm. uh-huh. so who has the laws mm-hmm. who has the measurements mm-hmm. who has the code to say to say this is right and this is wrong mm-hmm. so it's it the is... same thing going back to mm-hmm. nilizaliwa hivyo sijaenda yeah. kubadilisha yeah. 
So you are discriminating me by the fact that that's uh-huh. the way Kimaumbile uh-huh. Niko. Mm-hmm. And then going to the extent of telling me mm-hmm. I need to prove uh-huh. you are yeah. sexually harassing that person. Manake kuna sheria ambazo zimekuwa na FIFA kwamba kiwango fulani ama mwanadada kuna kiwango fulani afai kupitisha ili kuwe na competition sawa baina ya wanawake. Kwa hiyo lazima angekaguliwa ama ili kukamilisha sheria za FIFA ama za CAF. Okay, what what yeah. laws mm. are they putting mm. for men mm. who have <laughs> the opposite <laughs> of that? <laughs> Cause, cause, yeah, because you see <laughs> we we <laughs> We try to put mm. a lot of burden mm. for people to prove themselves mm. beyond beyond wango hapa can ah. you prove between here and here mm-hmm. you are a woman mm. you 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 are actually denying mm. that person mm. their uh, their civil liberty mm. of being a human being mm. bottom line yeye ni binadamu yes mm. mnyama mm. ni binadamu kama mimi na wewe mm. so we need to hold everyone mm to that uh, reg- uh, to that uh, platform that mm-hmm. first and foremost mm-hmm. before anything else mm-hmm. that person is a human being mm-hmm. okay. and the reason why they are human being is because they had they have certain uh, features mm-hmm. that either belong to a man or mm-hmm. to a woman mm-hmm. so we should allow them to participate mneka mnatoa inaitwa nini the joy Uh-huh. in sports competition. by by putting so many things uh-huh. technology improve football yeah, three <laughs> measurements gani yeah. sasa mmekuja mpaka sasa bodily mm. bodily integrity mnaanza mm. kuingililia na huyu mtu uh-huh. hakuenda akatuma email akasema nataka ku, kuzaliwa kama na ka hivi uh-huh. It's the way ni maumbile, ni maumbile yake yeah. so why are we discriminating this person and uh-huh. actually sexual uh, taking them through uh, sexual harassment mm-hmm. just to prove mm-hmm. beyond reasonable doubt whether they are man or woman mm-hmm. yeah. so i think uh, like kadele mesema right now fifa they are dealing with your case in zambia mm-hmm. now, and you are right because even Zambia. even zambia they are asking eh? so, no, so, mm-hmm. so what is the barometer because because zambia federation are asking fifa mm-hmm. what is that barometer that you measure a woman mm-hmm. but it yeah. is up to here uh-huh. And then from here you become a man in the field mm-hmm. because what Akadeli is saying is you're supposed to be a, a women competition mm-hmm. but you you look like you're playing like a man ama something has been put into you mm-hmm. yeah. People, and, and that's manake. why I was going back to uh, kama so, kwa football pitch uh, kuna wanaume wanacheza kama <laughs> ama ana miendendo kama ya mwanamke <laughs> kwa nini tusimwambie ebu uh, proof for us whether you are man or woman eh uh, tudhibitishie yeah. 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 why, why are we just uh, putting the responsibility ama the honors uh, on women to uh, prove uh, uh, well um, uh, um, a contrary to the same uh, men are not being held accountable that's mm-hmm. discrimination like mm-hmm. purely mm-hmm. discriminating someone because ya mm-hmm. maumbile yake mm-hmm. which is wrong and which you are actually mm-hmm. infringing on that person's mm-hmm. human rights mm-hmm. as an individual mm-hmm. who should be treated with dignity and respect mm-hmm. and be given equal op- opportunities we mm-hmm. we keep on saying let's not leave anyone behind yeah. mm-hmm. let's be inclusive mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. then <laughs> by doing this you're not being inclusive and you're leaving everyone behind. Uh-huh. Yeah. Kabla tuta, kabla tamatisha awamu ya kwanza eh, kuna tumetaja kwamba kuna maumbile eh, it's a form as hiyo tumezungumzia sasa hivi. Eh, kuna other forms ya sexual eh, violence eh, kwa wanadada katika sport haswa. Mm. Eh, kando na eh, ku, kudhibitishwa sehemu zake za siri mm. ama maumbile yake mm. eh, kuna mambo mengine ambayo yanamuathiri eh, katika hicho katika sexual eh, violence eh, one mm. kabla jibu ndio mm. msidi na jibu mm. ni mm. kama sasa kwa sports wango mm. tumekuwa na sex for participation mm. kuna coach fulani pahali mm-hmm. anaambia ndim mm. and even vice versa mm. ready to speak mm. that for you to participate you have mm-hmm. to sleep with me ama mm-hmm. you have to do this mm-hmm. so that i include you mm-hmm. yeah nipe nikupe you know because i know in the team mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. tuko na tuko na kesi ya tumekuwa na a, 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 a coach mm-hmm. who was taking advantage of young women mm-hmm. who wanted to play for mm-hmm. certain mm-hmm. teams mm-hmm. so this guy would actually 
ask the girl to travel mm -hmm. to where he is mm -hmm. and then have sexual give him sexual favors mm -hmm. so that they can they can be included in our yeah. yeah. so that by itself mm -hmm. you're actually coercing this person mm -hmm. to agree mm -hmm. to give you uh, sexual favors mm -hmm. so that you can you're actually using your powers mm -hmm. wrongly mm -hmm. Because this oh. is power over. Mm -hmm. I have powers more than you. So mm -hmm. what I'm doing is I'm mm -hmm. going to use my powers over you uh -huh. to coerce you mm -hmm. to do something for me so that I can give you something in return, mm -hmm. which is wrong. Mm -hmm. Because everyone well, is entitled mm -hmm. to be given opportunities mm -hmm. um, without giving sexual favors. Because mm -hmm. the same applies. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to, if I work for a certain company, mm -hmm. Why am I sleeping with the boss so that I can get to be the head of the organization or the company? Because that by itself is a form of sexual harassment. But then if you go beyond the sexual harassment and have sexual intercourse with someone, with them, with them without consenting. Because you, you see, I'm coercing you. I might use goodies, uh, phones, a trip to somewhere, um, a job opportunity, mm -hmm. an opportunity for you to play for a certain team. Mm -hmm. When you're coercing that person mm -hmm. to give you sexual favors, mm -hmm. you're actually committing a crime uh -huh. because you have this the power, mm -hmm. the power dynamics, uh -huh. the power dynamics in the sense that this person mm -hmm. is in a position mm -hmm. to abuse a junior. Mm -hmm. But then also it happens. Mm -hmm. Juniors take advantage and they can abuse their. Uh, the junior po positions mm -hmm. to abuse their, their uh, seniors. seniors. Mm -hmm. So it's a power dynamic thing mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nam Asanti Kanja, tutazungumzia swala hilo kiarie kwa undani manake. Mm -hmm. Tutaliangazia zaidi kwanza tupumue kidogo, tupige tama la maji, angalau eh, tuweze kuendelea. Kwa hiyo tapumua ki, eh, kidogo, alafu tutarejea. karibu tena mtazamaji tunazidi ku, ku, eh, kushiriki mdahalo wetu kuhusiana na thumla za kiji, eh, thuluma za kijinsia ama za kingono ambazo zinaathiri mwanadada moja kwa moja na jamii pia kwa ujumla kwa hiyo tunazidi kuzungumza lakini tuma arafa katika 2144 ili tujuzane zaidi eh, katika awamu hii ya pili na ya mwisho kiarie tumezungumza kuhusiana na tumezungumzia kuhusiana na wanadada na makocha jinsi wanavyo dhulumu wanadada ama wachezaji mm -hmm. e, wana, wanadada haswa mm. na tumezungumza tena amesema watu wangu wametuambia mm -hmm. kuna kitu ametaja amesema mm -hmm. sexual violence mm -hmm. is not limited to women sijui mm -hmm. maana kama amesema mm -hmm. it even men mm -hmm. and boys even Epi. boys and men mm -hmm. wanapitia Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. So, um, so when we are talking about sexual violence, men, women, and children, both boys and girls, go through defilement and rape. So when we are talking about gender-based violence, it's actually violence meted on men or women or children. Oh, okay. Because gender ni like gender both, both men, women. men and women. It's yeah. not women, mm. it's both men and women. Ah, okay. And men mm. pia ni survivors wa sexual violence. Mm. Because under the survivors network, we have a number of men okay. who have gone through rape. Mm -hmm. And rape is not by... Rape, rape them percentage if you look at the percentage of 
uh, women raping men mm. and men raping men, uh -huh. the percentage of yeah, women raping men uh -huh. is a, a, like a katini uh -huh. fraction. Two percent. Two yeah, more. of something. Like in but the then equal. majority of people, the perpetrators who rape fellow men mm. are men. Are men. Yeah. Who so when we are having, when you know, it's uh -huh. just, it, it has nothing to do oh, with sexual uh -huh. orientation. Uh -huh. It's just someone using their power over someone uh -huh. to commit a crime. Uh -huh. Am I using um, advantage of a situation uh -huh. uh, to, to, to rape someone? Uh -huh. And that's why I was alluding to, uh -huh. if, you're, if you go out having drinks, uh -huh. and then melewa, lafu mna wana mwenzenu wana beba mschana, hata hawezi jitembeza, but mna mwalao, anenda na mschana kwa ruma, lafu kesho haki ya subu, mschana nasema, I did not agree to that. Uh -huh. That person actually committed a crime because ah, okay. the, the person who was drunk mm -hmm. and consent. Mm -hmm. The thin line is oh. so thin mm -hmm. that people need to be cautious. Ata, mm -hmm. One, at a heri we tishem shana mm -hmm. birth certificate yake to confirm she is over 18. Mm -hmm. Look for a way to mm -hmm. confirm that person is not a child. Mm -hmm. And then two, mm -hmm. look for a way mm -hmm. to get consent, mm -hmm. but then have at the back of your mind mm -hmm. consent can be withdrawn. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's it's not permanent. Uh -huh. Niki ku niki consent now uh -huh. and then an hour from now I call it off. Uh -huh. You still don't have consent. Uh -huh. Then even if we are two naked people on a bed, uh -huh. if I withdraw my consent, I've withdrawn my consent and you should not move uh -huh. and do something after that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you have uh umetaja kwamba men to men. Mm. Kwamba wana ume wana wana baka wana ume wenza. Mm. Na kuna wanawake na wanawake ama wana, kuna wanawake ambao wanabaka wana wakewenza. Uh, Manake tumeshuhudia mm. tumeshuhudia usagaji lesbianism kwa timu yetu imetajwa hapo awali. Mm. But then hata sasa mne, mnenda uh -huh. mali mnaanza ku discriminate watu because of their sexual orientation. Uh -huh. So if a person for them uh -huh. they feel that I am I present as a man, uh -huh. they are free to do that. Uh -huh. And also the same for men. Uh -huh. We, the constitution has created an environment uh -huh. that everyone uh -huh. is free uh -huh. uh, to believe uh -huh. and practice uh -huh. what they feel is right with them. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And also that, that actually also includes your sexual orientation. Mm -hmm. okay. Whether you want to refer yourself as they, him, her, Is, that's okay. your personal decision. Oh. So then when, why are we discriminating? Nika kusema, sasa juu naenda dini ya msambwe, sasa tuwanze kuku discriminate kwa sabu naenda dini ya msambwe ama... Which is wrong, because mm -hmm. everyone has a right. Mm -hmm. And you have, the hum you have a right to do what is okay with you. Oh. But then also, kuna mm. caveat, yeah. Mm. Uh, your right starts from somewhere and ends somewhere. Mm -hmm. And then the other person's right starts from somewhere and ends somewhere. Mm -hmm. So when we are talking about whether it's sexual relationship between man and man or woman to mm -hmm. woman, mm -hmm. the same mm -hmm. laws apply. Uh -huh. If you rape someone, mm -hmm. you will be held accountable. Mm -hmm. yeah. now, mm -hmm. now, this being a sports channel, eh? mm -hmm to na katika ile kutembea kwetu hapa kule na ndugu ya Kadeli eh uh -huh. we have had like three issues here number one uh -huh. issues of changing rooms uh -huh. kwanza in these clubs uh -huh. tuseme mashinani for just just uh -huh. for the purposes of the show uh -huh. <coughs> there are girls and women who say uh -huh. tukienda kucheza when you go to play in a certain village or whatever uh -huh. we don't have special changing Changing rooms, rooms for women eh? uh -huh. for us so and in between as you're saying Certain forms of sexual harassment happen uh -huh. because of uh the -huh. the whole uh -huh. So that one we are going to touch on it. Number two, uh -huh. there has been instances where girls will say that dynamism. Uh -huh. There are women who have taken advantage of a coach uh -huh. or a club owner uh -huh. or someone. In okay, let me ask you, why are we focusing on women and yet even men take advantage of other men and club owners? <laughs> Yeah, Can we say uh -huh. human beings take advantage? Because not other. only men, uh -huh. not uh -huh. only women uh -huh. take advantage. Yeah. And what uh -huh. qualifies taking uh -huh. advantage? Uh -huh. You see, that's why you're called here. Because then uh -huh. for us, because for us, when you go out to Naskianga, uh -huh. 
hey, fulani ndio apate ile trip eh? mm-hmm. fulani ndio apate ile trip aliji alifanya alijipendekeza kwa coach you see, because for us we try but to define define kujipendekeza ah. alienda kaongea vizuri akajitetea uh-huh. akapatia na facts and figures uh-huh. or ali, ku, alisema ata promise huyu mtu ku have sex so define okay. and then why are we digging and this is the thing uh-huh. there are certain things that are previewed to be private uh-huh. okay and then also even uh-huh. as we are talking about privacy uh-huh. Are we looking at the power dynamics quasi okay. whether it's a, a, nini, a senior to a junior ma junior to because even senior. juniors can also blackmail you who say only need to be buyer uh-huh. so what i want from you is one two three because uh-huh. okay. what we are trying to do is create an environment uh-huh. where each and every human being uh-huh. feels safe uh-huh. they can uh, they can actually claim their rights uh-huh and do what is right by them whether mm-hmm. it's re- religion mm-hmm. tradition mm-hmm. but then mm-hmm. even practicing that mm-hmm. the law mm-hmm. or the laws of the land mm-hmm. super, super seeds mm-hmm. um, um they they actually protect mm-hmm. citizens mm-hmm. Uh, regardless of whether you are practicing your own traditional okay. or cultural beliefs because okay. if you do something saying at any cultural mm. or traditional mm. or religion mm. that harms someone else mm. you be you will you will be held accountable uh-huh. they won't oh. say at because you're christian muslim then so, we will not you so to say at because kunele kunele tetesi that ule dem al komeva no just as an mm. example to just try to add to that eh? mm. that that person was raped ama ama was ama was sexually violated uh-huh. because alikuwa ameva but then kama unasema ameva hivyo uh-huh. mtoto wa month one month old baby ameva and you are raping ama uh-huh. muislam nini wale wa mamauji cover uh-huh. from head to toe no na tu macho peke yake because even them they get raped uh-huh. shosho one one 110 ama 105 uh-huh. ameva and you uh-huh. so when 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 we are using dress code drunkenness mm. mm. as a reason mm-hmm. to justify someone's action mm. all of us mm. are wrong mm-hmm. okay because mm-hmm. one mm-hmm. how do you sex begins at the, at the mind mm-hmm. so you think mm-hmm. you see you think you act mm-hmm. but then you as an individual mm-hmm. you have the powers mm-hmm. to actually control your body not it controlling you so the coaches because the reason I brought that up is because there was an incident several years ago in Uganda where apparently the uniform the the kit that the girls team had it was said it was indecent and revealing quote and quote GBS yes. uh, good news yes. broadcasting system yes please we need just to go on our knees and pray because mm-hmm. one mm-hmm. what we are saying mm-hmm. is the constitution gives you um, right mm-hmm. to express yourself mm-hmm. how do you express yourself mm-hmm. either you talk mm-hmm. the way you dress mm-hmm. the way you style your hair mm-hmm. all that mm-hmm. is expression okay. and it's provided for okay. so when we are saying mm-hmm. dress code in a contribute mm-hmm. it doesn't contribute okay. the person who's violating <laughs> this person, this person mm-hmm. is the one who's mm-hmm. committing a crime mm-hmm. going back to mm-hmm. tell me a, a child in diapers and you have the people who are raping their children mm-hmm. is a biological father mm-hmm. a step father mm-hmm. a neighbor a cousin mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. we we are not saying that ni mtu ametoka huko nje amekuja hapa kurepwa tu ni mtu ana live within that ah, homestead yeah. and that person is practicing power over this person because yeah. they know ni mtu dhaifu ama ni mtu hawezi jitetea that particular person manake ni kweli ni kweli kiarie kanja amesema hilo kwa sababu ukiangalia wanadada wa hoki wanavalia wanavalia umewaona ama swimming ama swimming wanavalia kwa hiyo ni ule mbakaji ambaye yule mtu ambaye amechukua hatua ya kumbaka yule mwanadada ndio amefanya hichi kitendo kwa hiyo but wacha nkuulize kwa swimming pool wanaume wana dressage and then why are we not 
Uh-huh. 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 It's, a, it's, a, like, it's a very simple question uh-huh. Uh-huh. because uh-huh. We, we always put a lot of uh-huh. blame mm-hmm. on women. Mm-hmm. Men don't take responsibility. Uh-huh. And it's a high time mm-hmm. men start taking responsibilities of their action. Because uh-huh. the same way we are scrutinizing women, mm-hmm. we should put the same efforts mm-hmm. and energy in mm-hmm. scrutinizing men. Mm-hmm. Why are we not calling mm-hmm. men out mm-hmm. when they commit crimes? matatizo kama hayo ama cases za rape mm. zinafanyika sana sana kwa wanadada. Yeah, but uh-huh. how many men uh-huh. have we created an environment uh-huh. where men uh-huh. when they go through sexual violence uh-huh. any form of sexual violence uh-huh. they can actually come uh-huh. out and uh-huh. report okay. uh-huh. kwa sababu uh-huh. men are brought to Mwana ume ni effort. Mm-hmm. Wenda uibe, bo, beg, boro, mwana mm-hmm. ume ni effort. Uh-huh. Wee jua vilo utajitetea. Uh-huh. And then, uh-huh. also, <laughs> men are, are told, uh-huh. uh, provide for your family. Uh-huh. You're not given an equation uh-huh. ya kuambiwa. Uh-huh. This is the way, unenda unatafuta kazi, uh-huh. unalipo, unakuja kuprovide for your family. Uh-huh. Or you can start a business uh-huh. and make money and uh-huh. come and provide for your family. Uh-huh. So, our... Our decisions, uh-huh. our actions uh-huh. are actually influenced uh-huh. by socialization. Wuki wa mdogo, liko nambi wa juki anza kulia, wanauna waliangi. And men don't express themselves. Uh-huh. So you get so many men uh-huh. are going through mental health issues uh-huh. using alcohol as a coping mechanism uh-huh. and other outlets uh-huh. that leads them to commit crimes. Uh-huh. Okay. So it's uh-huh. not, can, can we generally say as Kenyan, uh-huh. We need a country that is making men, women, and children feel safe. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, if someone commits a crime, mm-hmm. um, especially where nini, individuals' bo- bodily mm-hmm. integrity mm-hmm. is actually compromised, mm-hmm. we need to hold that person accountable. Uh-huh. So, Wango, mm-hmm. you come from, you have Wango Kanja Foundation. Mm-hmm. And I think we have broken down. Mm-hmm. And they've actually challenged us even more mm-hmm. to get a bigger scope of having a conversation limiting to, mm-hmm. to a certain mm-hmm. gender. Mm-hmm. Wangukanja Foundation, mm-hmm. who do they do? And how do they step in the gap? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we address issues of sexual violence. Mm-hmm. Prevention, protection, response. Mm-hmm. And response meaning uh, we can respond to a case that has happened, mm-hmm. um, help that person to go to hospital, mm-hmm get a medical report, go to a police station, report mm-hmm. the case, mm-hmm. and then follow up thereafter mm-hmm. until the case uh, is concluded mm-hmm. in the court. Mm-hmm. So we work towards restoring dignity mm-hmm. to survivors of uh, sexual violence, whether uh-huh. man, woman, or child. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the reason why we are, we are doing that is most of the time mm-hmm. we rationalize, mm-hmm. we condone mm-hmm. different forms of sexual violence. Mm-hmm. Ah, Uwe jamaa na kuanga hivyo. Ule jamaa wa makaa pale. Uwe jamaa na kuanga hivyo. Ama ule jamaa wa boda boda. Ule na kuanga pale. Ana kuanga tu hivyo. Anapenda wasichana ama anapenda vijana. So you're wondering when you're saying that. Are you holding that person accountable? Ama mtu kwa nyumba. You know be, somebody, somebody has crossed a bar, uh, nini, uh, line. Where either if you have a house help who's kijana. I may cross line na mtoto wako msichana. Then you're like. Usirudia kufanya hivyo tena. If you chase that person out of your house. Because mm-hmm. if you don't hold that person accountable, mm-hmm. my friend, mm-hmm. atafanya the first time, the second time, the third time, and the fourth time, then mm-hmm. that person becomes a serial rapist mm-hmm. because you guys are not holding the mm-hmm. person accountable. Okay. So change begins with me mm-hmm. as an individual mm-hmm. addressing the issue mm-hmm. and calling people out mm-hmm. by saying, kiaria wacha kufanya hivyo. Mm-hmm. Nini, uh, if, a, if a, mm-hmm. a lady mm-hmm. rejects you, mm-hmm. take it with pride. Mm-hmm. You say, Ma, okay, maybe she was not meant for me. Because yeah. you can force mm-hmm. you can force that situation and then it puts you in problem. Mm-hmm. Rejection is a good thing. Mm-hmm. Men, rejection is a good thing. Kabisa. So, uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, and then also what we are doing is we are building a, a movement mm-hmm. of survivors of sexual violence mm-hmm. to come together mm-hmm. to create an environment, an enabling environment mm-hmm. for people who have gone through um, sexual violence mm-hmm. to report. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because if we don't report, then we don't have the statistics. If we don't have the statistics, then mm-hmm. we don't have, we don't understand the trends and prevalence. Mm-hmm. So what we are saying is, can we create an environment for anyone mm-hmm. 
Because if we don't do that, mm. then the repercussions are mm. you have young girls, mm. a lot of teenage pregnancies. Mm. It's not teenage pregnancy. Mm. I refuse to say teenage pregnancy. Mm -hmm. These are defilement cases uh -huh. that we have not analyzed. Uh -huh. Looking at mm -hmm. who are the majority of perpetrators. Uh -huh. Are they men mm -hmm. above 18 uh -huh. or are they peers uh -huh. to these girls? Because okay. if it's peers, mm -hmm. then there's a remedy, mm -hmm. okay. even in court, mm -hmm. to use mm -hmm. for these two. Okay. Um, the court uses Kituanita diversion uh -huh. to make sure that these two are brought uh -huh. in court mm -hmm. and the court helps them understand mm -hmm. that what they've committed is a crime. Uh -huh. So they will be taken to rehabilitation. Uh -huh. And if they repeat a second time, now mm -hmm. they will get uh -huh. the punishment uh -huh. that okay. they deserve. Wow. For uh, adults, mm -hmm. There is no negotiation. <coughs> Report, mm -hmm. you go to the police station, investigations are done, mm -hmm. and the person is taken to court. Mm -hmm. If you know the, if you have identified the person, mm -hmm. or you know the person, it becomes easier. Mm -hmm. For situations where you don't know the person, mm -hmm. um, it's unfortunate, mm -hmm. because then it becomes hard mm -hmm. to identify the person. But one of the things that we are lobbying mm -hmm. is for a DNA data bank to be put in place. Mm -hmm. So that when people commit crime, we uh -huh. collect the DNA samples, then uh -huh. put them there, and then you can ident easily identify the uh -huh. person. What about uh, in the sports sector? Are there policies or uh, prevention of this uh, sexual uh, violence? Yeah, we have. So uh -huh. the laws of the land uh -huh. that apply uh -huh. uh, right now, uh -huh. they're actually protecting Okay. Even the the, uh, the, the, the sports uh, arena. Uh, we are not saying uh, at least now sports will come with their own uh, uh, laws and policies. Uh, no, uh, you are using the national policies to put uh, measures in place uh, to prevent uh, or respond to uh, any form of um, sexual violence. But uh, then this is the other thing. Uh, do do we have proper reporting mechanisms uh, for players? Uh, if something happens, mm -hmm. they can report somewhere mm -hmm. without fear mm -hmm. of discrimination, retaliation, stigmatization, stigmatization mm -hmm. and then also deni being denied uh -huh. that opportunity. Because uh -huh. you think a time to say, you can 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 say, So that by itself, uh -huh. this person will feel intimidated uh -huh. and say, okay. Uh -huh. Nikim stacking that to lower court team, uh -huh. and maybe that's my passion. Uh -huh. So, what does that person do? <laughs> they keep quiet. Nam Kanja kwa sababu ya muda, muda tuambia neno lako la mwisho utaambia wanaume nini, ama jami kwa ujumla, ama sekta ambazo zinahusika katika eh, haya mambo ya kuhakisha kwamba jinsia ina inaheshimiwa, jinsia wanawake. Utaambia vipi? Uh, okay, so my uh -huh. call to action uh -huh. to everyone, uh -huh. the community, uh -huh. please, 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 please uh -huh. believe survivors. Uh -huh. A person who has gone through a traumatic experience, uh -huh. the first thing is to believe them. Uh -huh. And then two, uh -huh. support them uh -huh. to access uh -huh. uh, comprehensive care and support. Because uh -huh. if you don't do that, uh -huh. then the person doesn't start their healing journey. Uh -huh. And then also, uh -huh. please report. Uh -huh. If you don't report, uh -huh. that person becomes a serial offender. Uh -huh. And we are just creating more harm uh -huh. for our community. Uh -huh. and, and then also, uh -huh. making sure that you hold the uh -huh. necessary mechanisms accountable uh -huh. when it comes to access to justice. Ah, Mzuri. Kwa tuambia unapatika na wapi? Watakupata wapi? Okay, uh -huh. um, I'll share. Twitter handle at Wangu Kanja. Um, people can DM or uh -huh. they can send messages. Uh -huh. If you want to get to know about uh, uh -huh. uh, Wangu Kanja Foundation, uh -huh. uh, but I think also on the uh -huh. Twitter handle, uh -huh. there's a telephone number, cell phone uh -huh. number that you can call us and uh -huh. reach out to us and we'll, we'll have a conversation La. and we support you. Many thanks, Wangu Kanja, for taking time, for being mm -hmm. with us. Mm -hmm. I think my greatest uh, output for today mm -hmm. is reporting. Yeah. I think that is what I've heard the most. Mm -hmm. We have got very many young players. Mm -hmm. We have traveled with the Kadeli to various girls' yeah. football teams. Mm -hmm. The one thing they don't do is report. Uh, report. I think, to me, that is the greatest take-out. Uh -huh. Just report. Mm -hmm. And I think, the, uh -huh. lastly, Kuna Kitume Sema, that fear of... Uh -huh. Fear of stigmatization or discrimination. Mm -hmm. 
ya both of them because uh-huh. after you report uh-huh. there's then that of the consequence uta chujo kwa team mama uh-huh. whatever so i think to me reporting is the is the out, is the key thing uh-huh. yeah. Asante. Mm-hmm. Kwa hiyo tutakomea hapo. Shukran Kanja kwa kuja. Tumezungumza zaidi. Umetueleza mambo ambayo ametukia ama suluhu haswa e, tuweze kuripoti kiari amezungumza. E, kwa hiyo sitarudi ya umesha umeshaambiwa hapa na Kanja na kiari. Kwa hiyo sisi tutaondoka. E, asante kwa kuwa nasi katika muda huu.